Welcome back savages to another video. In today's video we're going to be unboxing this new Solar X Crypto Miner. Now it's been about two months since I ordered it and just a quick word on shipping. I was expecting heavy heavy import fees but I managed to get it without any of that so I'm quite pleased about that. So in this video we're going to be unboxing it and setting it up. Let's go. So first off, we've got some polystyrene and that's just covering and protecting the solar panel itself. And it looks to be around about 40 centimetres by 40 centimetres. Um, it's on a frame, which is good to see. Those are the specs of the solar panel. So the output is 20 watts. Maximum operating voltage is 18 volts. Maximum power is 1.1 amps. And the connector on the other end is this one right there. So next up we have got the power supply. So you've got that connector on that side. Uh, it's a two pin adapter. So I'm probably going to have to get a converter adapter to connect it to the UK three pin supply. Not a problem, should be okay. But it does say on the AC adapter that it is between input 100 and 240 volts, so we should be okay. And it's rated at 1.6 amps. Next up, you get a manual book. So more post in. And there we go. That is our miner itself. Well, that is pretty good. It's metal construction all the way around. Good quality build, I would say, definitely. And it's quite heavy as well. As you can see just there, that looks like there's something missing. It's like a rectangle cut out or something. I don't know, we'll have to look at that shortly. If we turn it around this side, put the X logo on. I presume that's where the adapter or the solar panel connects to, right there. Looks like there's a reset button just here in the corner. If we turn it on this side, nothing on that side right there. If we turn it on the other side, looks like that's going to be our power button right there. So apart from that, nothing else I can see on there, no other connections. So in terms of unboxing, apart from that minor, some more polystyrene in it and that's about it let's go and set this up so here we are i've got the solar panel connected to the back of the solar x miner like that i've just pressed this button and you get a green led background which is cool so that's just loading up right now so now what i'm going to do is on my phone i'm going to install the solar x app which is mentioned right here solar x app so you can get it from the app store like that. So I'm just going to go ahead and install that right now. Oh dear, that's not very good, is it? I've just scanned that code and I'm getting this error saying this QR code has been deactivated for some reason. If you're the owner of this QR code, log in to reactivate it. Nice job, SolarX. Looking good so far. So instead, I've gone on the App Store and I've just done a search for Solar X and it comes up there, Solar X under Finance. So you can just get that from there by just doing a manual search. So once you've installed the app, go ahead and log in using your credentials. And you'll get to this Welcome to Solar X screen right here. That's the Wallet Overview tab right there. And that screen right there is your account. So the next thing you need to do is to retrieve your secret key. And you can do that by going into your SolarX AI account right there. Once you've logged in, navigate to the homepage and go to My Assets. And in there, it should be printed 
the sacred key. You're going to need that for the setup. So go ahead and go and get that right now. So we've already switched on the miner. That's already done. Step 1.1. Step 1.2. The logo should come on. Got that. So the next thing we do on our mobile phone is navigate and look for the new Wi-Fi hotspots. So on your mobile phone, you want to be looking for a hotspot called SolarX. I've just got it at the bottom here. So go ahead and click it. And it should connect to it. You don't need a password. It's just connected to it right there. And soon as you've done that, you'll get something called Wi-Fi Manager turn up here. We're going to click on Configure Wi-Fi. So you're going to get a list of your Wi-Fi's right here. Pick the one that you're going to connect the device to. And enter the password. So once you've got your password in there, the next thing you need to do is enter that secret key we just talked about earlier and put it in there. So once you've entered your secret key, go ahead and click on save. And it just comes up with saving credentials, trying to connect ESP to network. So I've just gone into the SolarX app that we installed earlier. If you click on the wallet tab right here, you'll see that it says mining now 1.91 watts. So I think we're good to go. Obviously, there's no rewards just yet because I've set it up, but looks like it's all working. So I've just come back into the app a few minutes later, and as you can see, it says reward pool 0.17 SHCH. So that's the token right there. So just a couple of uh, issues with build quality that I've come across while I've been setting this up. First of all, on the back of the solar panel, which is meant to be installed outside, you can see that plastic right there is very loose. And I just feel that that is going to get damaged by the rain because this is not sealed in any way whatsoever. It's just a little plastic housing that goes over the top and clicks on there. But that's really loose. I'm not impressed with that at all. Secondly, this gap right here, when I've looked it up, is supposed to be a screen. So it looks to me like in transit or whatever, it must have dropped off inside. So I'm going to need to investigate what's going on there. So regarding these two issues, I spoke to SolarX support. They said to me that it's likely that the courier must have knocked it around while it was in transit and the screen itself must have dropped out. So that's the screen right there. The actual panels are quite easy to take off because there's actually just magnets holding them. So you can just prise it off with a sharp item and it'll just come off. So the idea is to get this screen back in that hole right there. The only thing is it's not very sticky. It's just going to drop out. So I think that's fairly poor quality. I wouldn't really blame the courier for that. I think it's just the way they've glued this in. It's not very good. Now, the second issue, which was the solar panel. Again, I spoke to support. And to be honest, they didn't give me any solution other than maybe use it indoors rather than outdoors. So there you go. That's their solution. So I've just gone back on to support again about this screen because the screen just won't stay in place. Obviously, the rubber on it is dried or just fallen out. And there's no way the screen will just stay in place. It just falls out every time. What they've suggested is somehow force it to come through the front of the actual miner. And that's their solution. Mm, not very happy about that. Now, the only solution I can think of to keep this screen in place is to probably add a bit more with a glue gun just to the side there to keep it in place or some blue tack. But just be careful when you're working in here. Make sure you're only touching the screen and not these components here. So secondly, just about this solar panel. If you intend to use it as it's supposed to be, which is outdoors facing the sun, I think this is going to be the weak point right here. And you might need to add some kind of waterproofing around the edges here to stop any water getting in. But overall, I think that is a very, very poor design. So all that's left to do right now is to install this miner somewhere. So bear in mind, the unit itself, the miner, is not weatherproof, so this needs to be indoor. The solar panel needs to be installed outdoors and facing the sun for the best possible yield you can get from it so once i've got this all installed it's just a case of leaving it to connect to the wi-fi and it's just one of those brilliant set and forget projects and it should just mine away on the off chance that the weather is really bad in the winter months where the days are shorter and perhaps the solar panel itself can't charge the battery that's within this unit you've obviously still got 
the charger that comes with it that should help you as a backup to keep the miner going so anyway i hope you like this unboxing and setup video i'll leave a link in the description where you can buy the solar x miner if you have any questions please ask them in the comment section below otherwise thanks for watching and i'll see you savages on the next one